morning, good afternoon, good evening, whenever you're joining us in the uh, village kitchen. Today I'm going to make a really, really simple uh, broth or soup, not aspirational, maybe inspirational. So we're going to poach a whole chicken in a pot of just water, so no tricky stocks. It will make the stock for us. The technique is handy because it doesn't really matter the size of your chicken, it'll, it'll always be cooked perfectly. This one here is a good two kilo size bird. So I'll leave the chicken at the boil at a sort of generous simmer for about two or three minutes, that's all it needs to be. Turn it off and leave it for an hour and it will always be cooked perfectly. If the chicken is smaller, you would use less water. If the chicken was bigger, you'd use more water and you're always guaranteed to have really silky, uh, nutritionally dense uh, chicken and stock. We then punctuate that with uh, a sort of a whole sort of panoply of ingredients that are going to sort of really turbocharge the health benefits of this soup. We're using some greens here. We've got some uh, cavallo nero and some curly kale, some ginger from just up the coast, some turmeric, which is a turbocharged. Uh, Matt Galinsky's here, thank goodness. What is it, a rizzo, Matt? Rizzo. It's a rizzo, apparently. Uh, some green shallots, some lemongrass, which give lots of sort of perfume and aromatics, some fresh coriander and fresh lime. Now we wait. So the contact time with cooking this chicken has been really just a matter of minutes. You just gotta be patient, and then after the prescribed cooking time, be careful when you lift it out, because the cavity will be full of what is now a rich stock, or broth as the hipsters say. And we bring him through, like that, and he is, if good judgment comes from experience and experience comes from bad judgment, my experience is telling me that he is perfectly cooked. So into our immune boosting restorative broth, I'm gonna add some fine pieces of ginger. I've just used a spoon there to take off the, the skin of the ginger and I'm gonna do the same with a piece of, of turmeric here. Fresh turmeric. It's available right now, we've got some growing at home in fact, and I'll just use that to take the, the skin off and then I'm just going to shred it finely with my dazzling knife skills. We may not be all super familiar with the sort of the, the musky sort of complex perfume of turmeric, but we're all very familiar with lemongrass and the way to sort of unlock its flavour, of course, is to break the fibres. You could crush it, or what I'm going to do here is just very, very, very thinly slice it. And when you very thinly slice it, it's, it's really quite edible. And I'm just going to use the white part, just cut it really as thinly as I possibly can. So that trilogy, trilogy that trinity of ginger, turmeric, and lemongrass will just give extraordinary fragrance to the chicken stock. How have we made the chicken stock? By cooking the chicken in water, as simple as that. This goes on, we bring it to the boil for about 10 minutes so we get an exchange of flavors between those rhizomes and obviously the lemongrass and the broth. this next step it's probably good to use sort of food safe uh, gloves because we're going to remove all the skin from the chicken and that's a simple matter you can see how easily it comes away we we'll remove the skin from the, the breasts and from the legs if you find it easier to do as I'm doing oh my goodness it's just falling apart remove the legs and then remove the skin that's fine of course as well but that is just so beautifully beautifully tender the skin's just lovely and iridescent and just barely set the protein. Beautiful, beautiful way to get to know uh, chicken and how to cook chicken. So we're using two greens, Cavallo Nero and Kale. At this point, the recipe becomes a guide. As I, as I pull the leaf, it's letting me know which bit is edible and which bit isn't edible. Uh, 
it. There's no need to do any sort of real chefy reduction to this stock. It's uh, It should be light and bright. It should have good savouriness, but already the, 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 the punctuation that the ginger, the turmeric and the lemongrass has given is fabulous. So that's it. That's it. We're ready to go. So we can put some of the, the chicken into the base of our bowl. I'll give a mixture and big pieces of chicken. We're not going to cut it into rhombuses or parallelograms. Um, that's a bit of breast. I'll also give a bit of thigh as well. So that you get that the sort of the greater depth of flavour that you get from the, the brown meat. I'll have a little bit of the drumstick there. So the chicken can go in there at room temperature. There's no need to have everything, you know, boilingly hot. And then our greens, be generous with the greens. Our kale and our cavallo nero. The green shallot. And then plenty and plenty of fresh coriander. I'm not gonna even put the knife through it. Put that on top and then we ladle over our chicken broth. I mean, really, this, this dish isn't about the chicken or the contents therein. It is about the broth uh, and the restorative nature of it. So I'm going to be very, very generous with that. Have a bowl of that, you'll live forever.